Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. Today I'm sharing some cards I made using Paper Roses Wild Poppies 6x6 Paper Collection. I love the beautiful colors and patterns in this collection. There is one sheet that has image and sentiment cut apart. There's three each of 12 designs. So I'll show you the first side of the six sheets. Now I'll flip over so you can see the opposite side. I love that vibrant red of the poppy against the neutral color backgrounds. There's some more florals. I love that wood design. Some more of the poppies. There are several patterns that have a linen texture, so it really adds a nice detail. If you are interested in purchasing this collection, I will have a link provided in the description box below. So let's go ahead and get started with card design number one. I'm using a card sketch for inspiration. This is Sketch Saturday number 673. With all of the beautiful cut aparts included in this collection, I wanted to make sure to use some of those. And I found this sketch and it's perfect for those one and a half by two inch cut apart pieces. I have some floral paper for the background. For that diagonal strip, I used some of the linen or burlap texture pattern paper, layered it on some black cardstock. And then just for a little extra detail, I'm adding a Love From Lizzie peel off underneath that diagonal strip. This is the black color in the pinstripe style. I just wrap the ends around the back just to make sure they won't fall off later. I'll layer this panel on some red cardstock and then again on some black cardstock. I love the red, black, and white colors together. Put my card front onto a card base. And all of my cards in this video are American Standard A2 size. Here's one of the little cut aparts. Don't be afraid to stand out from the crowd and it has the beautiful floral bouquet underneath that sentiment. I use some black cardstock for the crooked piece that goes underneath the sentiment cut apart. Add some liquid adhesive to the back and adhere it to the card. And I did decide to adhere that cut apart a little higher than what's indicated on the sketch. I'm adding a glitter bow and this is using Paper Rose's Tiny Bow Die Set. Use some red glitter cardstock for that. Then to finish off the card, I'll add a few black gemstone stickers on the left hand side. So there is my finished card and I did make two using this sketch. For card design number two, I'm using another card sketch for inspiration. This is MFT number 560. I have some of the wood grain paper for the background, adding this smaller panel of this beautiful floral paper, little branches and yellow flowers on it. The floral paper will be flush to the left side of the card. So I did flip over that floral panel and trim off the extra black cardstock. I'll add this panel onto a black cardstock layer. And most of my cardstock layers, I do add an additional eighth of an inch to the measurements listed on the sketch. Using another cut apart sentiment image, this is Best Wishes. Just layer that on some black cardstock. And I'll adhere it onto the card using some liquid adhesive. So I'm adding this rectangle sentiment in place of that two inch circle that's indicated on the sketch. Also adding some of these beautiful die cut leaves and these are by Paper Rose. They are part of the Autumn Leaf Outlines Trio die set. Cut them out of some green cardstock, just adhering them in place using some liquid adhesive. Then to finish off the card, I'll use some more of the black gemstones. This is just some bling that I've had on hand. Putting three of them to the right of the sentiment image cut apart. So there is my finished card. And again, I did make two using this sketch. I did use a different cut apart for the second card. Now moving on to card design number three. For this card, I'm using Paper Rose's stained glass window die. Now this die doesn't actually cut out the frame. It'll add that stitch detail along the outside, but I needed to use a circle die to actually cut out the frame. Here's what the pattern paper piece looks like after I ran the die through my die cut machine. 
it still leaves that stitch detail on the pattern paper. But I have all those insert pieces that I can put into the frame. I'll be inlaying all of those pieces. Decided to take a sheet of black cardstock, added some double-sided tape on top of it, used a circle die, cut that out, and I'll just remove the release paper, flip over my frame, and adhere that adhesive circle. Now it'll make it so easy to insert all of these die cut pieces into the frame. Now it's basically assembling a puzzle. All of the pieces will only fit in one of the openings. So I'm just rotating the frame around. I found it easiest to place those four corner pieces in first. Then I know the correct direction of all of the patterns. So I'll put my little square in. Now I can work on the outside pieces that go around that square. So I'm trying to make sure to line up those flowers but you really can't get it wrong since the pieces don't fit into another spot. I have just a few more pieces to place into this frame. And this is so fun, it looks like a window. So there it is all finished, just gave it a firm press to make sure all of those pieces are adhered. For the background of the card, I have some black and white gingham paper. Layer it on some black cardstock. Put some ATG tape on the back and adhere my card front onto a card base. And for this card, I will be leaving that eighth of an inch of the white card base showing. I decided to pop up this window panel using some foam dimensional tape, just adding small pieces all along the outside edge of the circle, just one in the center. That way there isn't any area that sags. Remove the release paper and adhere it to the center of the card more toward the top. For the sentiment on the card, I'll be adding the word hello, and this is using the Hello Layer Die Set by Paper Rose. I cut out the word hello from some white shimmer cardstock, and then I have some black cardstock for that outline layer. Just adhere the two pieces together using some liquid adhesive, then I'll adhere it to the lower portion of that window. I've also stamped out the rest of the sentiment, how are you? And this is part of Paper Rose's Hello stamp set. Lots of great sentiments to add on to the word hello. And I'll glue this down using some liquid adhesive. I did cut the right side at an angle just for some extra interest. I'll also add a small banner in the upper left-hand corner. I use Paper Rose's Banner One die set and this is a longer banner. I just trimmed it down to about half an inch. Then to finish off the card, I'll add some more of the gem stickers, this time in a clear color. So there is my finished card, and I did make two using this design. I love using general sentiments on my cards, so I own quite a few Hello die and stamp sets. For card design number four, I have this beautiful floral paper for the background. Using the Slimline Strips die set, I cut out three different pieces. I like how they're all different sizes and they have that stitch detail along the edge. I put some double-sided tape on the back side. Now I'll adhere them to the left side of the card. Started with the middle width, then the narrow, and then the widest width on the right side. Now these are a Slimline size, so they are longer than an A2 size card. I'll just flip over this panel and trim off the extra. I'll put some ATG tape on the back of this panel, layer it on some black cardstock, and then again on green cardstock. If you've never watched my videos before, I love adding cardstock layers to my cards. I think adding that layer of black cardstock really adds some nice contrast. So once I have my card front onto my card base, I'll be adding a strip of pattern paper across the card using some more of that linen texture looking paper. Now it doesn't actually have any texture, it just looks like it. I will layer this strip on some black cardstock as well. Before I adhere it to the card, I'll add some scrap cardstock on the right side just so everything's at the same level and then adhere it in place using some liquid adhesive. 
For the sentiment on my card, I'm using another cut apart. So this has happy birthday and it has some of the poppies underneath it. I'll layer that on some black cardstock and adhere it to the right side of this panel using some liquid adhesive. Then to finish off the card, I'll add a few of the black gem stickers in the upper left hand corner. I'm trying to make sure to get them nice and straight. I lightly place them on the card until I have the placement correct, then I'll push them firmly in place. So there is my finished card, and again, I did make two using this card design. Now moving on to card design number five, and this is my final card design. I have some beautiful wood panel paper for the background. I used a pierced rectangle die and cut out this large rectangle. I put some ATG tape on the back and I'm also adding some liquid adhesive just along the outside edge. I want to make sure the edges lay nice and flat on my card. Then I'll adhere the white rectangle onto that wood pattern paper. Layer this piece on some black cardstock and then put my card front onto a card base. And for this card I won't have any of that white card base showing. Some of the cut apart pieces only have a floral image instead of a sentiment. So I decided to use several of them on the card. Putting the two black background floral pieces across from each other and then the white across from each other. And I'll just adhere them all in place using some liquid adhesive. Using the liquid adhesive to adhere them in place, I have a little bit of wiggle room to make sure to get everything nice and straight. Once I have the bottom two pieces in place, I can add the last two pieces. And I find it easier if I tilt up my card so I can make sure to get everything straight. For the sentiment on the card, I'll use another cut apart. This is thank you for everything you do. And I will layer this on some black cardstock first so it'll really pop against that background. I'm also adding some thin foam squares to the back side using some of the larger squares and then a few of the smaller squares, just making sure there isn't one area that sags. And then I'll adhere it to the center of those four rectangle pieces. To finish off the card, I'll add a couple small banners in the upper left-hand corner. Instead of using the banner die, I decided to cut the fishtails by hand. The green cardstock piece is slightly longer than the black cardstock piece. And I'll adhere the green banner down first using some liquid adhesive. I also cut just a small sliver of cardstock. I'll adhere this next to that green banner. That way the right side of the black banner doesn't dip down. I'll just adhere that black banner on top to shift it off to the right. Also add a few more of the gem stickers. Put two of them in the upper left hand corner on the banners and three in the lower right hand corner. And there is my finished card. I did make two using this design. I used some different pattern paper and cut aparts for the second card. This is a great card design if you just have some small pattern paper scraps or you have some of those one and a half by two inch cut apart pieces. Now here's another look at the 10 cards I made using Paper Roses Wild Poppies 6x6 Paper Collection. This is a beautiful paper collection. I love the colors and designs in it. It's perfect for cards all year round. I think you could even make some Christmas cards since it does have the red and green in it. I will have links provided in the description box if you are interested in any of the products I used in this video. Paper Rose is located in Australia and they do ship their products internationally, but you can also buy their products here in the US. And I do have links for both locations in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.